Hello everybody, Ghosty here, and today I'm going to be showcasing my Adventure Capitalist cheat table. Now, I have been getting requests in my Discord um, regarding the fact that the table needs to be updated, um, since a lot of the scripts in the table do not work. So, now that I have had the time, and I have gained much more knowledge, I have came back and I have revamped it. Okay, so, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the setup, and then execution of the table. So, the first thing you're going to need to do is download Cheat Engine um, and make sure it is version 7.5 because that is the latest at the moment. And then you're also going to need the table, which I will provide a link in the description for you on Open Cheat Tables, and it will also be on my Discord. All right, so once that is all done and you have the table, we're going to go ahead and open it with the Cheat Engine. It's going to prompt you to execute the Lua script. Now, don't be alarmed by this decode function. I'm not doing anything malicious with the code. Um, only reason I have this in place is because I don't want script kitties stealing my work whenever I have worked for, I'd say, about two weeks almost on this. So, All right. <clears throat> so we're going to go and say yes to the decode function, and it's going to pop up this UI. Um, so we have a section over here with some helpers and info. Uh, these are just my socials and also open Adventure Capitalist as well as close it from Cheat Engine's main user interface. Okay, so with that out of the way, we're gonna go ahead and start showcasing the uh, table. So to go ahead and get started, uh, press over here um, with the main injection and it should do all that for you. Um, it may take a little bit longer depending on your hardware, but just give it some time and it should work. Okay, so I'm just going to go top to bottom and kind of explain some things. So we have, first of all, in the general scripts section, we have fetch venture data, which you can go ahead and enable that script and it will fetch all the stands for you uh, no matter what planet you're on. Um, so you can change all the stats in here. You can go crazy with it. Uh, for time's sake, I'm not going to go too in-depth, but it'll generate all these stats. Um, so if you wanted to make the cost per super low, or basically zero. Let me, so let me just put a little bit lower. So you can do that. And you can also, you can basically upgrade free. Um, and you can also make the quantity for the upgrade about that much. And you can upgrade super easily. Um, and make the quantity huge, essentially, um, and just buy it immediately. So, yeah, that's the fetch venture data. Um, down here, we had the item helper scripts, which is arguably the most helpful section in the whole bunch of table or in the whole bunch of uh, scripts. So, the first one we have is all store items free. So. Like the name says, come into the store, things need gold and whatnot to be bought, I don't have enough gold. Well, you can prevent this with the all store items free. Um, and this counts for these ones down here as well. Um, and you can come down here, and as you can see, all of these are free. So if I wanted to, I can just come down here and buy all of them. And then as soon as I disable the script, it'll all come back to normal. All right, so. This is the add reward section. Um, I decided to give more functionality to giving the player rewards rather than what I did uh, with my um, other version of the table a while back. So what you can do right here is show the reward strings for every item in the game that you can have or that you can get. Um, so you can get all of these. All you need to do to um, add this to your game is just pick a string or of what you want. So they're all kind of self-explanatory. Um, I'll take some, let's see. I, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I'll take a offline multiplier, okay? We'll add the reward, put in the reward data string, and then ask if we want to change the reward amount. I'm gonna say no. Let's give myself 10. Um, I'll also give myself some gold. So, and the default is this, so you can say gold, change your reward amount, um, say yes, and I'll just give myself 999, or 999, yeah, and it'll give us that. It could be done with megabucks, um, 
all of these. Uh, I think you can also get uh, planets for free. So if you don't want to uh, pay for a planet down here, you can give yourself that. And I think it's around, uh, yeah, moon unlock, Mars unlock. So you can get planets for free as well. Just add it to the streams. So yeah, pretty cool. Okay. So the next section is a great reward service scripts. Um, so they're just kind of handy scripts. Uh, I can take away gold. I can add gold. Um, same with these down here. It's just kind of a little thing I added just in case you need it. So here are the hack uh, class scripts. Now what these do is it's just I hook the, the hack function of the game. There's actually a debug menu that you can hack, but I decided not to dig into it because I didn't really find it interesting. So we have the cash scripts right here. So you can add the max amount of money. You can also add one centillion, which is close to the max amount in the game. So you don't have to climb your way up the money values. Um, you can also set the track one centillion. You can also set your cash to max, which is 10 and centillion, and then reset the cash if you want to. And that is all instantaneous. Yeah, so you can do all this if you want, and um, yeah. Okay, you can also have ad boosters right here. Now, this all this does is let me come over to shop. As you can see, this I think I don't remember exactly what it adds, but as soon as you click it, it'll add all these. I think it adds two of each of these, and I think it's part of some kind of pack that you can buy um, in the store. Okay. So the final section are, is the value section. Now these are just some changeable things that you can mess with. I didn't add a lot because I didn't really find very many things in the game that needed to be changed necessary. So yeah, with that being said, I think it's about all I wanted to showcase in this table. Um, if you have any comments, things I should probably add, or maybe just some bugs that I need to fix, um, please leave them in the open cheat tables forum or the Discord server. Um, I'm going to be cleaning that up, um, and I'll try to be responding to those if I have time. Uh, I'm very busy at the moment, so yeah. Thank you for watching, everybody. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll talk to you all soon. Goodbye.